What it do, YouTube? It's uh, the Trevor's Tech here, and I'm giving you a tutorial on how to install the Aether mod. This is a video request for me, and I can't wait to install this mod. And so you want to start out by going into Finder, and if you're on uh, whoops, if you're on Snow Leopard, just go to your username, click on Library, and then go to Application Support, and then double click on Minecraft. And if you're on Lion, like me, you just want to go into, you click go, click go to folder, and type in this code I'll give you in the description, click go. And then uh, take your saves and just copy any important saves that you want, like this one. Just copy it and then paste it onto your desktop. This is in case we have any problems, you can... Uh, restore your saves. Then you want to take everything and delete it because we have to start with a fresh Minecraft. Now open up Minecraft and uh, type in the username that you want to be and click enter game. And now it'll download everything so you can go into Finder and actually watch this happen. alright so now you can exit out of minecraft and then you can just uh, go ahead and take your save open up the saves folder and just move your save game into there now you can start with the mod so uh, I'll give you a link to this in the description and then you just open it up and you'll see this stuff we're gonna start with uh, it doesn't really matter what we start with let's open up two finder windows and then go into the Minecraft folder by uh, go, go to folder, and then go. And then open up bin. And you're going to want to right click on it and click open with and the unarchiver. This is an application you can get in the Mac App Store for free. So uh, just go download that in the Mac App Store. You'll get a new Minecraft folder. Delete the old Minecraft.jar and rename this new one to minecraft.jar click enter and click add alright so open up minecraft.jar and you'll see all this stuff scroll down and delete the folder named meta-inf delete it alright and now you're ready to install the mod open up the audio mod and uh, press command a and then hold down command and unselect uh, pause code and then copy these two items into minecraft.jar and then replace now you want to open up Paul's code and where it says sound copy that and now scroll down in minecraft.jar till you see something that says Paul's code uh, here it is double click, click on it and then paste item and then replace now go back and go back on uh, that and then back again now open a jar and you'll see all this stuff press command A copy and then paste it into minecraft.jar and replace all now you want to go back and open up mod loader command A to highlight everything then copy and paste it into minecraft.jar again and go alright sorry about that just open up resources and you'll see something that says mod you might see other stuff uh, if you do just copy it all and then uh, go back in minecraft.jar and back again and in resources just paste mod you'll see it has a bunch of different stuff in it alright now go back to bin and minecraft.jar and go back in resources and this shock thing in bin command a pay, copy it and paste it in here apply to all and replace go back and in src uh, just leave that so now you've installed the mod and open up minecraft uh, enter game shouldn't have a black screen you should go straight to mojang and single player you can create a new world or uh, use a one that you've already used
All right, so now we have installed everything. And you see the mod, you see all that stuff that's part of the mod. I don't know really what it does. And now uh you need glowstone and water. So actually I'll exit out right now for a second. And I'm going to install too many items. I'll give you a link to too many items so you can install it also. So bin minecraft.jar All right. Now that I have too many items, we'll reopen up Minecraft. And this is so that I can show you what this mod is about. Enter the game. Single player. New world, play world. All right. So now you see it. And uh if I open up too many items, I'll show you a portal. I'll show you how to build a portal. So first you'll need glowstone and you'll also need water. All right, so you want to we'll come over here to build it. Make the glowstone four wide and then build it up five high. Like one, two, three, four. Uh one more. And then bring it around. And now you want to take your water and just drop it. And you'll see we built a portal. I'm going to put the difficulty on peaceful for the sake of this video. Alright, so now you can just step into the portal and we will enter the Aether. It might take a second to load the Aether depending on uh, how much RAM you have and just different sorts of stuff. Alright, so I'll probably fast forward through this. Alright, so now you can see the Aether takes a long time to download. Just click back to game. And you are in the Aether. You can see right here, it is sort of like the Nether, but vice versa. If you have Fly Mods installed, that's awesome. It'll help you get around the Aether much better. So now you see I already have some stuff. I have a book of the lore and Aether Dirt. Uh, I'm not sure what the book is. Uh, it just talks about it, I guess. And so you can see they have all kinds of different stuff, Aether, Dirt, and uh, different types of ores that you can get. So that's basically it, guys. If you have any questions about the Aether, please ask me, but uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not very familiar with this mod right now. Uh, I think this is a golden tree. Let's check it out. Wow, this isn't going to yellow. Alright, so let's see what it comes up as on our... So it's Skyroot Log. Let's see what you can do with it. So this is basically like just a different type of tree. And it looks like gold. So uh, there you go. And there's a little something cool. Go check it out if you have a fly mod or something. Uh, so anyway, that's it guys. If you want to know how to get a fly mod or too many items, let me know and I'll definitely direct you to a link that teaches you how to do it. For now, peace.